Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Centaur here and welcome back to another video. Now today we're going to be discussing the potential liveries to be coming in the E175 rework. Now this rework I honestly would think will be on your mobile devices within the next four weeks. Now that is very exciting to hear. Now with regards to the liveries, so, so far we've got Air Canada, the, the generic one, the Northwest Airlines and US Airways. So we use US Airways for this video, shall we today? But we might as well head over to LaGuardia because it's a cool airport, which I don't really fly to that often. Now, the E175 rework is one that we've all been looking forward to and one we've all been waiting for for quite a while now. So since this development confirmed early in 2022 or even late 2021, I know this thing has been in development for a long, long time, which means it is very nearly at your mobile devices. Now there's been lots of requests for liveries but I think there's quite a lot which will be coming in this upcoming E175 rework. Now not too many airlines do currently operate it, um, quite a few used to operate this aircraft as well. So the first airline I think will pretty much always be coming is the Aero Mexico Connect. Now if I, as of late have been adding Aero Mexico to a lot of their aircraft, they've done it in the previous 22.6 update where they added the amazing 737. Now, I do honestly believe we can see Aero Mexico. So if we just hop over to Mexico here, I would just talk about the possibilities that they will, you know, enhance for the mobile flight simulator. So you can see all of these airports here are in Mexico and they're all rather close to each other and some are a little bit too close for me to want to be flying a 737, which is why I think it would also be ideal to have that Embraer on our boots. So that is the first aircraft which I think will almost certainly be coming in the rework. So the next airline which actually operate the um, E175 according to Wikipedia, you know, great sources, is Air Don't No, it's Air Burkina from Burkina Faso. Now, I don't think we'll get this livery. I don't think we'll get this airline, but they do operate the E175. Um, but I can't really see us getting that. Potentially we will potentially not. And the next airline again is a requested airline by quite a few people even though they did seize operations um, a little while ago in 2021 and that's Alitalia Cityliner. Now I think we can potentially see Alitalia, we got a few of their liveries already but that was of course before they before they seized operations and so now I think it's ITA, the Italian Airlines whatever, someone would be able to tell me um, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, so I don't really see us getting the yeah, Alitalia City Liner, um, but you never know. Um, it would be quite cool to see that, um, and I would quite like to see it. Um, it would be a livery I'd like to see personally. Okay, now moving on, the next airline is Belavia, which is a Belarusian Airlines. Now they currently operate five of the Embraer 175s, and I think we don't really have an airline for Belu Be Belarus yet, as far as I'm aware. Not that um, it's, you know, on my to-do list or one of the places I really want to fly to in it for like, but again, I suppose it would be nice at the end of the day to have an airline for most countries, so those of you who do want to fly there would have, um, you know, an option to fly there. Now, the next airline is known as Compass Airlines, but I'm pretty sure they operate for Delta, um, so it would pretty much just be a Delta livery on the Embraer 175. And they do no longer operate it because they seized operations in 2020, probably due to COVID-19, um, a bit like you know most of the other seized operations. So it would still be cool to see you know a Delta option, considering we'll have the American Eagle option, which has already been confirmed, um, which is known as Envoy Air, which is also the next one on the list because they operate 98 Embraer E175s. Now that is a crazy number. They also have orders, the E170, which they have six on order, which again is a really, really cool number and amount for, for them to have on order. So I think American Eagle, as it's confirmed, I feel like we need Delta to go alongside it. Now the next airline on the list is an airline I've always been quite fond of, but unfortunately they seized operations in 2020, like most of the airlines we here, have here. But quite interestingly, I do believe they have begun operations again, whether they're using this aircraft, I don't know, um, but it's Flybe. Now they have, or had, sorry, 11 Embraer E175s, and I, I was always quite fond of Flybe, you know, we got their Dash 8 and E119 infinite flight, why not add on, you know, the um, that epic uh, E175 on the Flybe livery, I think that'd be quite a cool addition, 
I don't think we'll get it, um, so I don't really think we'll get the um, fly delivery unfortunately, even though we do have it on the 190 and Dash 8 like I've said, um, but I don't think we'll be getting that. However, if I could choose a livery, that would be my chosen livery. Now the next livery, Fuji Dream Airlines, which is an airline from Japan. Um, they look like a very short haul carrier, um, potentially a domestic airline, I'm not too sure. Um, but they do have the um, E175-13 of them and three E170s. So they are quite an Embraer um, based airline by the looks of that. Um, I'm not too sure what other aircraft they have in their fleet. But I think this is, again is quite a likely airline um, that we'll be getting in this route. I, I can totally see us getting the Japan Fuji Dream Airlines. And that would be an airline which I think would be quite cool to see. If you agree, let me know. Um, but I definitely think the Japan Fuji Airlines would be one on the list. Now, the next airline, back to the Americas, and another American-based airline, which is the Horizon Air. Now, Horizon Air are pretty much the Alaska Airlines operator um, on the E-175s, I think, is probably the one way I'd put it. So, an Alaska Airlines, I think it'd be quite cool. You know, we've got the Delta, the American, and now the Alaska. So, I think those three... We pretty much cover the whole of the United States um, if you wanted to fly Embraer's then. Um, maybe a JetBlue one as well would be quite cool. However, they don't operate the E175, they have the E190s. So that is quite cool. So we've done Horizon Air now. Now the next one is the KLM City Hopper. Now if we don't get this, I will honestly be shocked. I think we will be getting the KLM City Hopper. Um, I'd probably be willing to bet that we're going to get the KOM City Hopper that I'm not going to do that though because I'm very broke um, life of university so KLM City Hopper I can definitely see us having that on the E175 they also operate the E190 and one of the E195 variants so that would be a cool one to see wouldn't it the KOM City Hopper on infinite flight now the next one is Lot, which again I can see us having. I think we already have Lot actually if I have a quick look on one of the current Embraers. Um, I've just got to get the right one. I'm pr I thought we had Lot. Oh there we go, look we got Lot in the E175 at the moment. Um, so we do have Lot aircraft. So I think the Lot Polish Airlines we can definitely see again. Another one I'd probably be willing to bet on is that we'll have Lot on the E175 very shortly. So that's very, very cool. We've got Mauritiana Airlines from Mauritiana, one of the little islands. I'm not too sure if they're in the Pacific or the Indian Ocean. Um, Mauritiana. Now, I think it's somewhere. I think that might be Mauritiana, those islands there. Uh, they're Mauritius. I'm not too sure. But I think that's where it is. Um, they, have, they operate two, apparently. Uh, but I don't really know if we can see them coming. Again, it's a bit of a hard one. The next airline we got is operated by United Express, that's right, the American United Airlines. I forgot about them. I think we can see them as well. I think we'll see all of the um, American type of airlines. I think we'll have the American Eagle, the Horizon Air, you know, the Alaska one, um, the United Airlines one, and the other airline, which I have forgotten because it's just gone blank in my head. But we will definitely pretty sure get all four of those Delta, that's it. We'll get all of the um, big American type of airlines, I think, in this update. We've got Oman Air, um, they used to operate it, they had four, they don't anymore. Again, another airline I can see coming in this up update. Um, there's Paramount Airways, which is an Indian one, I don't think we'll be seeing them. They ceased operations in 2010, which is quite a while back. Republic Airways, again, operated for American Eagle, which is one we'll be getting. The Royal um, Jordanian from Jordan, I can see us getting that as well, because we have quite a few airline, um, liveries on them. So I can see us getting the Royal Jordanian Airlines. Um, I think that would be quite a cool addition, actually, to see them be added into Infinite Flight. So we'll get, to, um, they have two, so I think we'll get them. Um, that would be quite a cool one. Now, there is the Air Canada one, which is conveniently the livery I have now, who seized operations in 2021. They operated 25 of these. But I think we will keep this livery. I can't see them scrapping it. It would be quite nice for that to stay. Next one is a Brazil Airlines, which is the final airline, which is called um, Trip Liners Eras, which is a Brazilian one. Uh, they integrated into Azul in 2014, uh, so pretty much an Azul livery. Um, I, can I see that? Potentially, I'd like to see that, um, but they, like I said, seized operations 
and I haven't seen anything on Azul from where I've been looking. Oh, Azul, no, sorry, I did skip Azul, and they did used to operate five of them, um, but yeah, I can't, I, I don't know. I think we'll see it, but um, we'll find out soon. Now, let me know what you think about some of these Zimbri's come to play. I think quite a few of them will come, if not all of them, but there are a few which I said I don't think will be here. But if you did enjoy this video, please make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Good night.